Hey folks, in this video, we are going to show you one exciting new feature in Bootstrap Studio. It is called Smart Forms, and it lets you build HTML forms that are automatically delivered to your email address when they are submitted. We'll begin by building a fully working contact form. In a blank design, drag and drop the contact form clean component. Then select the form and in the options panel, switch on the smart form setting. We don't have any recipients configured yet, so we need to add one by clicking manage and add recipient. I'll enter an email address we prepared for this demo. Click create. This will send a validation message to your email address. You can see that it arrived in our inbox. Open it and copy the validation code. Paste it here and click verify. From now on, we can choose this email address in the recipient's drop down here. This contact form includes a styled error message, but we won't be using it for our example. Just select it and remove it. And then remove the error class. Let's see how this works in the browser by starting the preview. This opens up Chrome with our form. Go ahead and press the Send button. Smart Forms is activated and we're presented with a spam check to prove we are human. After this, we see an error message that no data has been filled. This is because our form doesn't have any validation and nothing is stopping people from submitting incorrect info. Let's fix this. Switch to Bootstrap Studio and select the Name field. In the Options sidebar, switch on the required setting. This will enable browser validation for this field and people won't be able to leave it empty. For the Email field, switching the Required option will ensure the value is a valid email address. And finally, we do the same for the Message Text area. We can also add a minimum length. Now, let's try submitting the form. The browser stops the form from sending unless the data matches our validation rules. Enter a name, then an email. A random string won't do. And finally, a message. Click Send. and the form arrives in our inbox. Now you can publish your site online or export it and your contact form will continue to function in exactly the same way. As a second example, let's build a form for hiring a freelancer. We'll use one of our built-in templates. Select it and click Create. Switch to the Hire Me page. Here you can see a form that is pretty close to what we're after. Switch on the Smart Form setting and choose a recipient. We won't need the subject dropdown, so we can delete it. We'll add three more form groups. And inside each, we'll drop a label. Drop a text input in the first. A select in the second. and a file input in the third. To make the label show above the input, we'll use a div. Drop the label inside it. The topmost field is for a name. Then we have a budget. We'll now edit the options in the dropdown. We can have three budget tiers for small, medium, and large projects. I'll mark the last option as the pre-selected one. The last field is for attaching a requirements file. File inputs need to have a name attribute, so be sure to add one here. Then we have to set the type of this button to submit so that it can send the form. And finally, we'll switch on the validation for all mandatory fields.
Very well. Let's try it. Our validation rules are working. We'll fill in all fields and choose a local file to send. Choose a date and submit the form. The email arrived almost instantly. When we open the message, we can see all data that was entered. And our PDF was delivered as an attachment. SmartForms is included for free with Bootstrap Studio, and you can use it to build almost any type of form without writing a single line of code. We're excited to see what you do with it. Thank you for watching.